Hello my dear students how are you all I hope everyone is doing good welcome back to your social studies class let's continue with our today's class class 5 today in the your social studies class we'll start lesson number 6 that is our planet earth so the earth and its major temperature zones okay today your topic is the earth and its major temperature zones now you all know that the earth revolves around the sun and uh, we get heat and light from the sun heat and energy from uh, the sun okay on the earth so all parts of the earth do not receive equal amount of heat from the sun why because the earth is spherical in shape okay so the sun uh, the rays of the sun it does not uh, it does not reaches the earth equally on on all the part of the earth equally so it varies from place to place in few places the it gets the direct heat from the sun in few places it gets the slanting heat from heat from the sun so the amount of heat received by the earth decreases as we move from the equator when uh, here equator as we move from the in the equator it, it gets the direct heat but as we move from the equator towards the poles the uh, heat decreases the heat which we get from the sun decreases towards the poles now on the basis of amount of heat received by the sun on this basis only uh, how much amount uh, how much heat we receive from the sun the earth is divided into three zones okay according to the amount of heat received by the sun so the first one zone is torrid zone second is temperate uh, temperate zone and the third is frigid zone and you can see all these zone in this picture okay these are the uh, what these are the temperature zones of the earth so the this is the torrid zone in the middle in the equator then is this is frigid zone and this bit the middle one tropic of cancer in between the tropic of cancer and frigid zone is temperate zone in both the side in towards the north pole and towards the south pole so let us uh, study about them in detail now as you all know that the great circle that divides the earth into the northern part hemisphere and the southern hemisphere is known as this is known as equator okay Uh, in the earlier in the previous lesson we studied about this equator okay so it is at the zero degree we all know that this equator is zero degree latitude and the line of latitude in twenty three degree thirty degree north here this is called tropic of cancer that also we know we studied in the la previous lesson and the line of latitude at twenty three degree thirty degree south towards the south this is tropic of capricorn now the area between the tropic of cancer this tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn in between these area so the bit in this one area is known as what uh, this is known as the torrid zone this as it is written here torrid zone the, these are the areas between torrid zone is that zone in which uh, in between the tropic of cancer and the tropic of capricorn so in this area this torrid zone this receives the direct rays of the sun okay and uh, uh, this is so that is why because it gets the direct rays of the sun it is the hottest part of the earth okay that is what is known as a torrid zone also and tropical region now in this region we are talking about the torrid zone in this torrid zone uh, this receives abundant rainfall abundant rainfall and uh, dense forest just because of abundant rainfall they uh, receives uh, uh, sorry it has dense forest also rivers also rich biodiversity uh, just due to the hot and humid climatic condition and many parts of this zone they remain hot throughout the year in few parts in many parts of this uh, zone the, just because of the direct heat, uh, rays of the sun they um, are they remain hot throughout the year and uh, just because of this hot climate the uh, this helps the growth of growth and survival of a rich variety of flora and fauna flora means the uh, plants which are present in this region and fauna means the animals present in this region so just because of this uh, hot and humid climate uh, the growth and survival is also possible in this uh, uh, torrid zone <clears throat> so the southern part of india lies 
uh, within the tropical region. In this tropical region, if we uh, if we'll see the uh, see our India, the trop the southern part comes in this region. Our in in, uh, in this torrid zone, the southern part of India uh, lies here. So. India lies between eight degree four minute to thirty seven degrees six minute north uh, let north latitude and sixty eight degree seven minute to ninety seven point two five uh, minute east longitude. Now next come to temperate zone. Now second comes temperature zone. Now uh, just to, uh, look at this picture again. Now here the in the northern hemisphere. If we are talking about the northern hemisphere, okay. So here the temperature zone lies between Tropic of Cancer and between Arctic Circle. Arctic Circle, you all know this uh, this one part, the small one part uh, in the North Pole. Okay, this is the small part is Arctic Circle. So between Arctic Circle and Tropic of Cancer, this is the temperate zone in the Northern Hemisphere. Same here between the Tropic of Capricorn and Antarctic Circle, there is a temperature temperate zone. Okay, between twenty three degree. 30 minute north and 66 degree 30 minute north and in the southern hemisphere between 23 degree 30 minute south and 66 degree 30 minute south so this region has because this is uh, not towards the uh, it is towards the pole but not at the pole so that is why it has moderate uh, climatic condition means average rain it receives average rain and uh, these are these are warm and cool temperature both sometime warm and sometime cool temperature and temperature region they uh, receive uh, temperate region receives slanting rays of the like this is the sun they do not get the direct heat they receive the slanting rays of the sun so as the earth you all know this sp uh, spherical in shape and the latitudes keep on increasing towards the poles okay so the temperate zone receives the slanting rays just now i told you rays of the sun and they uh, there are four seasons in the temperate zones what are the these seasons spring season summer season autumn season and winter season so these were these are the temperate zones after that the last one is frigid zone uh, now in the northern hemisphere so between this area north pole and arctic circle this is frigid zone in the northern hemisphere and similarly in the southern hemisphere also between south pole and this antarctic circle which is 66 degree 30 minutes south between these two is again frigid zone the uh, zone in the southern hemisphere so these are the uh, frigid zones in both the hemisphere these regions now because these uh, frigid zones are at the poles in the north pole and in, at the south pole so these regions are very cold and this, they receive very little sunlight because they they receive very uh, less heat from the sun. That is why they receive very less uh, sunlight, and they they uh, that is why this area is this uh, zone is very cold. Now they are the coldest region on the earth. If we will if we compare the, all the zones, the torrid zone, the temperate zone, and the frigid zone, among them this frigid zone uh, they are the coldest region on the earth and they are generally they are generally covered with ice because of the cold they are generally the north pole and the south pole frigid zones are covered with ice and snow and you all know that the torrid zone are the hottest part of the earth and temperature zone are the, they are moderate not neither too hot nor too cold sometimes they receive uh, a warm climate sometimes they receive cool climate so today we have uh, completed uh, these topics, all the three zones of the earth, the torrid zone, the temperate zone and the frigid zones of the earth. Now in the next video, uh, we will start from the weather and the climate of the earth. So this much for today. Thank you.